this is Don Clark, a file maker pro gurus.com and FM database consultant. Today I wanted to show you a FileMaker based manufacturing database template named BusinessMate from a FileMaker developer named Joe Fiore. BusinessMate is a base template used to build complex manufacturing database solutions, each one fine tuned to the end user's need. It has also been used in a variety of other businesses as well. What we're looking at here is the home page which does look a little bit bare. But not to worry, this layout can be used as, either as a dashboard of critical business markers or contain just the logo of your business or anything else you might think of for the landing page when you first open the database. You'll also notice it's a straightforward, easy to read design with high contrast colors. We have the same menus across the top and these menus will be across the top on all the layouts throughout this application, which is kind of a nice thing for ease of use for the users. So let's take a closer look. Let's shoot here on the Preferences tab right here. Okay, Not many surprises, just the, the basic information about the business. For those interested, a Google Map connection is available right down here. It's not hooked up right now because Google does require an active connection with a credit card on the account to be able to, make a, to pull up the map information about a given business. This, by the way, could also be used with clients and supplier locations. Notice the template's already configured to handle multiple taxes over here as well. And you can put other types of preferences in here as well, of course, along with your logo. The next three tabs up here are Quote, Order, and Invoice. You'll notice that all three of them start off in a list format. And over here, we've got a little carrot you can click on to go ahead and see the detailed view of any one of the items in your list. We have some uh, nice ways to filter things on the fly and some of the more advanced versions so you can see just what you want to see, uh, orders or so forth. Um, let's take a look here. You have detail here, back to the list. We can show all records. Um, these things can be sorted by date. Just by clicking on them here, it tells you that's an indicator whether it's ascending or descending. Um, quote number, the same thing across on all these here. Each one of these items is something you can quote or sort by. So that's the quote system. And if we look at one of the, or the quotes, if we just take a look at one of here, you can see we have a consistent layout. You're going to notice if we go through these things, uh, these different layouts, orders, invoices, that the uh, fields are matching where they need to be. So it's easy on your eye when you go back and forth. Over here on the left, we have a bunch of different uh, navigational things, or like a new record, copy a record, show all things like that. Again, these, this list over here on the left on your final solution will depend on what it is you want to have done. Let's move over to the orders. Again, we start off here. You can see we have orders, invoices, quotes, and so on in the same list uh, because it shows you the status of each one of these things as you move through the process. Again, the list over here are menu items that you can use. Uh, show all, we can do a back button, it'll take you back to where you were the time before. Um, these are, There's some other things down here, you can do overrides, you can put in a price here, and there's different types of overrides that can be built. What you want to do here, all you have to do is just tell us what you need. Let's look at orders, or invoices in this instance. There's open invoices and closed invoices, we can just take a look at one here, basic stuff. You know, you can add quantities and so on, and um, new, you know, send emails about this, actually send a copy of the invoice if that's what you want to do to your client. Um, next, we're into purchases here. Click on one of these, and you can see we're pulling in all the information in from a given supplier. Uh, it has ship to information, contact information. This is all basic stuff. And this is, at this point, just a basic template, but all this information can be highly modified to create the types of products or handle the types of products you use, the type of things that you purchase. Uh, we get the purchases here, or the products, I mean. These are, as you can see, a description, a sales price, and down here, the bill of materials. And we have a bomb tab over here. But the bomb tab is just a list of all the different bills and materials that are available. This is where you would make these and go see the details on them. Okay, under the product, when we go to a detail one, we can add different items into a bill of materials. 
and that way you can have something that's highly customizable, something that you are building. Here's all the pieces that go into it. You know, on your production sheet, you can put in the quantities and product measures. This layout in particular is highly modifiable to match just whatever type of uh, business it is you're in and what kind of items you need to build. And next, the standard inventory. Um, it has things like in stock, minimum quantity on hand. It can have reorder quantities, reorder lots. Uh, it can handle different types of valuations, that type of thing. Again, all the stuff on the left-hand side here. But this is just a template recall. So we can do a show all again, go back to our list, go here to clients, have a list of all your clients. We can have their history on here. We could even build in uh, some, you know, CRM, customer relations management things like, okay, what kind of history did we talk? When did we talk to these people last? Uh, did we send them an email? What emails did we send? That type of thing. We can send emails with attachments easily from FileMaker. Here's our supplier list. Again, basic colors, basic high contrast, easy to read fields. And then we have the staff over here with, you know, with information. This is basic information again. You could add other types of information in here. And some of our solutions that we have uh, people that are assigned to tasks or assigned to builds or, you know, 15 minute increments, for example. This is what they're going to be doing throughout the day that type of stuff. It, it starts with the staff screen here, but then you're going to have processes for building something or for completing the job or fulfilling an order. So the types of industries that have been used, by the way, here include uh, office manufacturing or office business furniture manufacturing, vinyl windows manufacturing, machine parts manufacturing, entry door systems, retractable awnings manufacturing, electronic circuit board manufacturing, industrial cleaning products manufacturing and, and more. That's just on the manufacturing side. It's also been used for things like time building for professionals, fire inspection industry, uh, all purpose con construction, uh, estimating, food service industries, pharmaceutical industry, those types of things. So this one base product that we have here can be used to do all kinds of different things. Uh, if you are interested in a custom database that will handle almost any manufacturing need and more, this template is just the place to start. For more information about getting a custom solution using this template, contact FileMakerProGurus.com using our contact form. Here's the link right here. I'm Don Clark, and that's all for today. I'll see you next time here at FileMakerProGurus.com.